Karibu tena mtazamaji popote ulipo tunaendelea kufanya masuala yanayohusiana na ukulima bila wasiwasi ukiona tumeketi kitako hapa taratibu tunaingia katika mtahalo mkubwa na tumejaliwa kuepo na mgeni Kimani Wakamao agronomist karibu sana bingwa katika studio zetu Thanks. swali la kwanza mtu anataka kuuliza na juu ya tukisema soil fertility tunamaanisha nini soil fertility kwa kifupi ni kusema uh, ni rutuba ya udongo mm -hmm. ile kuwa na either it's kama ni healthy ama si healthy mm -hmm. ili ku, kuweza kumeyesha mmea yako lazima uangalie udongo yako kama iko na rutuba ya kutosha mm -hmm. na madini kama iko balanced kidogo ili uweze kujua chenye kitafanya hapo ama ni vizuri ama hakitakufaidi mm -hmm. eh, na for a farmer now trying to check the fertility of their soils mm -hmm. where do they go basically uh, when you want to test your soils mm -hmm. lazima uite mtaalamu ambaye wanaitwa agronomist ama extension officer wa area yako mm -hmm ama yeyote baye amekuwa ameidhinishwa kufanya hiyo soil testing uh -huh. na kwanza tunatangulia kufanya soil sampling wewe uh -huh. kwa shamba yako ana identify zile uh, places where to take the soil samples uh -huh. because soil sampling is as important as the soil results so if you take a bad sample you are likely to get the bad impression or something that is not correct uh -huh. so mwenye anakuja kwa shamba anajua paini atachukua udongo I uh, avoid kwenye kuna mashimo mm -hmm. kwenye chini ya miti sana mm -hmm. avoid kwenye mlikuwa mmeweka mbolea mm -hmm. anaenda to the specific point and there is a specific procedure mm -hmm. ile huyo ofisa ama huyo expert atatumia kuchukua zile soil samples mm -hmm. it is from there now atapeleka kwa a laboratory mm -hmm. uh, laboratories kunazo za uh, za umma mm -hmm. public laboratories like Carlo Kabete here we also have some private uh, entities like uh, crop nuts and uh, soil labs there are as many but uh, the expert will uh, explain to you uh, which one are accredited if you go to a government institution they'll actually let you know which one are accredited and uh, which one are uh, are good to go mm -hmm. yes kuna mkulima mbaya na kutazama na nafikiria ule utaratibu ambao umesema labda kwake anaona ni utaratibu ndefu sana na angependa kutumia macho yake aone tu kwamba udongo huu ni mzuri sasa kwako utamwambia nini uh, kwa kilimo ya biashara kama sasa hivi venye tunaelekea kwa avocado mm -hmm. eh, si kilimo ya kubahatisha mm -hmm. na vile umesema hapo kulima bila wasiwasi mm -hmm. ukitaka usiwe na wasiwasi ni vizuri kutumia njia mwafaka mm -hmm. ili uweze sababu soil si kama binadamu mtoto mdogo akilea utaelewa hii ni kitu fulani amekosa lakini udogo enye utaona kwa mazao mm -hmm. na hiyo itakuwa hasara kubwa sana mm -hmm. so ningehimiza wakulima wote wadogo na wakubwa mm -hmm. uh, sababu avocado inachukua muda mrefu pia uh, kukuzaa waite uh, an expert hapo katikati akuja wasaidie kuchukua hiyo soil sample na sio kitu ngumu hata kidogo mm -hmm. na pia hata bei yake sio bei ya bayo itamlemea sana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now that procedure from the getting the expert, getting the samples, taking it to the lab. How long does it take before you get now a proper detailed report on the health of your soil? Na pia hapo kwa bei, pengine ungefafanua zaidi ndo tuelewe if it's very affordable or hapo pia kuna changamoto kwa wakulima. Kwa wakulima hivi sasa sio changamoto kupata umechukuliwa soil sample. Mm -hmm. It just takes a day na inabidi uangalie mwenye atakuja atakuelezea vizuri shaba yako ina, ni, ni kiasi gani vile imekaa inahitaji kuchukuliwa sampo kama ngapi sababu shaba zingine ziko na ekari kubwa sana so unapata ya soil ya pande hii haifanani na ya pande ile nyingine so inabidi it, it takes like uh, maybe few hours like three hours ataweza kuwa ameenda kwa samples achukue sampo vile zinafaa alafu bei yake haikuangi kali sana sababu itachukua kama ni kwa government institution mm -hmm. kama you want to do a, a fertility test mm -hmm. a simple facility uh, fertility test mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry atalipishwa 1000 per sample mm -hmm. and maybe for us for a, maybe an one acre farm itachukua only one sample mm -hmm. and in that one sample mm -hmm. several crops can be uh, intervened mm -hmm. so utapata three crops zimefanywa zimefanywa against 
the soil sample that you've taken. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can see that you I want to grow avocado and maize and cabbages. Mm -hmm. So that is a one sample. And then it might take the farmer around uh, around uh, 14 days mm -hmm. to see the results. Mm -hmm. But they are very detailed and a farmer can, uh, can afford to wait. It, it is advisable mm -hmm. for the farmer to wait. Mm -hmm. Wakati kuna tokea changamoto ya kuwa udongo huu kwa shamba moja tu, mm -hmm. udongo huu au fanana udongo mungine na mea ama mchi ambao unafaa kupandwa ni aina moja. Mm -hmm. Sasa hapo tutatatua vipi kwa sabu na tereji ya mazao badae. Hapo huwa tunafanya kitu na itangwa profiling. Mm -hmm. Kama mwenye mechukua sampo, anafaa kujua hii sampo yenye nimechukua kwa this side, haifanani na ile ingine. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo, aki name A na yengine atai name B ama C ama D. Mm -hmm. Apart zitakuja mm -hmm. after two weeks. The same same expert atakuja sasa badai, akuja muweleze mkulima. Pande hii ya shamba, ina, in, iko sawa. Lakini hii ya katikati, itabidi tuongeze hii mm -hmm. na hii, ama itabidi tuipange na muna hii sababu inaonekana kuna changamoto fulani kwa hii shamba ingine. So itakuwa ni another process sasa ya uh, kuweza kufafanua yale matokeo pamoja na mkulima na, uh, na yule expert mwenye mechukua samsa, uh, mepata results. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now that we are talking about fertility mm -hmm. and the soil has gone for testing, mm -hmm. what are these things that can be noted that will give you the notification that yes, there is a problem with this soil? Uh, number one, uh, in the soil uh, analysis sheet that, that comes out, mm -hmm. it indicates several, it has several indicators mm -hmm. of that, that pertain to soil fertility. Utaona imeandikuwa soil pH, mm -hmm. ni acidity, ama uh, alkalinity of the soil. Utaona imeandikuwa kama umeka mbolea kutosha, that is organic matter, copper, uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, mm -hmm. uh, potassium, and other micronutrients mm -hmm. zenye zinafuata hapo chini. Mm -hmm. Uh, sana sana huwa wanafanya hiyo analysis pale alafu wana kuandikia pale chino wanafanya kitu nitangwa conclusion and recommendation. Mm -hmm. and the soil, they, they, they write to, to the farmer that your soil, kulingana na hile mumea tusamea ni parachichi uname, una, unapanda, mm -hmm. itakuelezea vizuri sana kwamba hadi kiwango hiki cha, cha soil uh, pH, ikizidi avocado haitafanya vizuri, akienda chini hapa itafanya vizuri. Na pia wanakupatia recommendation unafaa kufanya nini. So zile vipimo zita zitakuwa zimeelezewa tena hapo chini. Sababu hapa kutakuwa na namba tu alafu atakuelezea shida ukilinganisha na avocado vile avocado inahitaji kufanyika. Hii imekosa nini? So watakuambia in this farm of yours for avocado to do so well you need to uh, to make your acidity a bit uh, alkaline mm -hmm. and for that you need uh, they recommend they recommend either gypsum if the facility mm -hmm. now compare a farmer is not allowed to do fat, uh, to do fertilizers without having a very proper uh, and well uh, analyzed um, soil test mm -hmm. because he might apply the wrong thing mm -hmm. so they'll give you the dosage per acre and they'll give you the exact uh, material that you're supposed to apply mm -hmm. yes ni nini kubwa ambayo inachangia kupungua kwa rotuba kwenye udongo uh, sana sana wakati tunapanda avocado mm -hmm. vizuri kujua kwamba avocado inakaa kwa shamba sana e, tunasema ukipanda avocado leo si ye wako peke yako mm -hmm. ni ya watoto wenye atakuja mm -hmm. na hiyo kizazi kingine mm -hmm. na hiyo kwa kizungu kwa ki kwa ki, ki science tunaita monocrop unapanda kitu moja kwa muda mrefu sasa hiyo inachukua madini ya aina fulani peke yake kama ni avocado inachukua phosphorus na potassium kuna vitu zingine inawacha kuchukua sababu haitumi. Mm -hmm. So unapata hiyo kutoa 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 and uh, you, you realize that uh, now farmers are going to have avocados and fuete they are heavy bearing. So they derive a lot of nutrients from the soil uh, repeatedly and they bear every now and then every now and then mm -hmm. uh, you realize that we have like now three seasons in a year. You have uh, your farmers will, exp will tell you that. And that hiyo uh, kutoa rutuba kwa 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 soil ikienda kwa kwa matunda repeatedly inafanya soil yetu ikue ime ime ime, ime degrade sana mm -hmm. and uh, that monocrop then because that uh, that that crop is not going to to be removed easily now the soil becomes imbalanced mm -hmm. again also application of some sort of uh, fertilizers like uh, Diamonium phosphate, that's the DAP, electronatumia sana, mm -hmm. inafanya maybe acidity yedeju, 
ama pembejeo zingine watu ambao wakulima hutumia zinafanya kuwa na mabadiliko so it is advisable that farmers should do a, uh, should do a soil test every year Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So for the farmer who's using like that DAP which you have mentioned and they need to use it, what are the things that they can do while they are using it so that we make sure in between we are still balancing and helping maintain the fertility of the soil? Um, farmers are always advised uh, uh, to do a lot of uh, organic manure. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two is to to scout for the for the outcome of the fruit uh, of, of the whole tree. Mm -hmm. You check the health of each tree, and if you see anything that is uh, not adding up, maybe the tree is yellowing, the tree is, uh, is, is bearing very uh, small fruits, a uh, farmer should be in a position to know that something is uh, uh, going in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Again, farmers are advised now to uh, not to use a lot of uh, maybe herbicides mm -hmm. that can also add uh, maybe some other chemicals that can uh, maybe tamper with the, uh, uh, the soil mm -hmm. um, uh, well-being mm -hmm. and uh, they are also advised also to to maintain uh, um, cleanliness in the farm mm -hmm. so that uh, they don't uh, encourage other foreign materials uh, in the farm maybe like like um, uh, dumping some people we feel like they want to dump something in there in the avocado farm mm -hmm. nylon papers mm -hmm. maybe or burning something from the farm that also can 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 maybe help the farmer to maintain um, fertility in the soil. All right. Uli poanza kujibu swali lake ngina umeanza kukutaja mbolea mboji ya organic manua. Umoimu wake ni nini hasa kukizingatia kwamba tunajaribu sana kutunza rotuba ya, ya udongo wetu? Uh, organic farming ama organic manua mm -hmm. sio kitu gumu kwa kulima. Ni ile tu matawi enye wanawakota ile Eh, wakati ngombe wame wameshaweka ile eh, ile mavi ya ngombe ama ya mbuzi ama ya kuku inasanywa pamoja hiyo wakulima wako nayo lakini hawajui kuitunza mpaka ikue imeiva kiwango ya kuweka kwa kwa shamba so huwa tuna encourage farmers wafanye hivyo sababu gani wakati unaweka a uh, lot of organic matter or manure in the soil una improve kitu inaitangwa water holding capacity soil yako ina, inaweka maji wakati wa kiangazi bado ina inaweka maji kwa kiasi kwa muda fulani mm -hmm. na pia yenyewe pia inaongeza madini kwa mm -hmm. kwa, kwa, uh, kwa 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 udongo yako mm -hmm. la tatu ni kwamba ina stabilize ile 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 acidity bado inaletwa kidogo chini hata kama si sana mm huwa -hmm. inaka ina kama inakuwa levelized mm -hmm. ama inakuwa balanced mm -hmm. by, the, by the amount of the manure that you are putting right. but i also uh, say this mm -hmm. that um, um, organic farming hata kama kwa sasa watu wameingilia sana mm -hmm. sio rahisi mm -hmm. pia iko na changamoto zake hivi kwamba avocado inabidi saa zingine uenda kwa jia zingine ili uweze ku, kuinua pale mm -hmm. sababu saa zingine wakulima hawana hiyo ya kutosha sababu unasikia in one acre unaambiwa 3 tons 1 ton kulingana na ile results zenye utapewa na soil mm -hmm. so pia ni vizuri watu kuweza ku balance mambo yote kwa usawa Okay. All right. All right, insightful conversations we're having in studio with Kemani Wakamao on soil fertility. We'd also like to know for someone who's starting maybe with a kitchen garden, is it important to do soil testing? Ama hiyo ni inafaa kufanywa na watu ambao wanaingia ukulima, you know, biashara, but we'll be getting to know about that shortly. For now we take a short commercial break. We do come back with a gold highlight, an opportunity for you to find out what is happening in the space of agriculture and also today we do have and a Greek star on AgriNation. Do stick around for that. See you after this short break.